Can you see me well? Are you going? Hello, members of Trinity High School. We're on the side of Shelbyville Road where we have just found Michael Jackson in flesh, and I think we're going to try to get an interview with him. As you can see, he's right there. Sir! Sir! Sir, what are you doing right here? Uh, I practice dance. Actually, can you show me some moves real quick? Just like, are we talking like robot stuff? Like, we just like anything I could, like anything I could do to be, be Max, take this. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. We're on Lexington Road trying to figure out what to do this weekend and hearing things from a lot of people saying Seneca's the move for Friday. So we're going to head over there to see what's up. Yo, 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 yo. Just pulling into Seneca. Absolutely nowhere to park. So, oh, found one. Perfect. Last one. Oh, sorry. Don't get it. Okay. Hey guys, it's Baron. I'm at Seneca Park to do some interviews, and my crew ditched me and took my car. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, and I don't know how to work this camera completely yet, but. I'm doing this for you all, so let's see what we can get. Been in Seneca Park for approximately eight minutes now with nothing to eat. Day by day I wander in the wilderness, lonely and forgotten, left with nothing but my wit and devilish good looks. The worst part though is the boredom. What I wouldn't do for a companion, bereft of any source of relative entertainment, abandoned, alone, I have nothing to do, no one to talk to, there is not even any Wi-Fi. My attempts to make peace with the savages of the south were frivolous, as they were not keen on my intrusion into their sacred grounds. Then, the thirst kicked in. It was prophesied by an oracle that north of the land of the hoops, a heavenly silver disc emerged from the green grassy plains. Alas! Water! How long hath this individual been deprived of thine which makes thy soul quiver? I wept. Mother! I thank you for these creatures of heaven who have provided this sacred liquid for the ever-quitching thirst of that which is my throat. It's been about three years now, still at Seneca Park. I've been, uh, been making the most of it, been bathing in dirt, got a pretty stable shelter. Still have not seen any source of life form, and I need to eat. Still have not eaten since we first arrived here. Let's find some food. After several seconds of searching, I think I finally found some food. We got some good Caesar salad. It's not the most ideal and I would like some ranch, but it's gonna have to do. Bottoms up, folks. <coughs> Turns out that was just a leaf. It's dropped to 18 degrees Fahrenheit here. And if I don't find a fire soon or any source of warmth, I'll suffer from hypothermia. The thing is about the wilderness, you have to make tough decisions. And this has been one of the toughest decisions I've decided. I have to burn my house. It's probably the toughest thing I've had to do out in the wilderness. But now, I have to survive. An old Indian technique of making a fire. Let's see how it works. been about four hours. I've almost run out of stick. After four years approximately, I still have no source of civilization or any humans. And I think I'm gonna try to find some now. After approximately four years and five months, I'm still at Seneca Park. 
No source of food. No source of shelter. No source of company. Of any life form. So I've decided to take a journey to find my old friend Max. He's been lost this whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I found him. Oh my god. Max! Max! Oh, Max! My good friend! Max! Max! Where have you been? Max! He's been around here, man. What? Where's the car? Uh oh. Um.